Do I have your attention? Do I have your attention? Do I have your attention? What's up, everyone? This is Todd Call, and I wanted to give you a special PSA. You should go and subscribe to Nathan Histed's YouTube channel. He is awesome. It's amazing. Please go and follow him, subscribe, support him, and tell him Todrick sent you. Love you guys. Bye. Good luck, Nathan. What's going on, guys? It's Nathan. I just want to take a quick moment of your time to allow you to know a little bit more about the episode sponsor. So if you haven't heard about Anchor, now it is the easiest. And when I say easiest, I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this episode, but it is the easiest way to not only start, but launch your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free. There's no catch. There's no fine print. It's just 100% you, your content, your podcast, as easy as one, two, three. And I will say it again, it is free. Now, you can integrate music from Spotify. You can have guest hosts. You can have your listeners record messages. And you can actually play it on your podcast. And best of all, you can do this in the comfort of your own home, on your phone, or laptop. It doesn't matter. Anywhere, it's done. Now, what really sold me was the fact that they offer distribution of your podcast. Do you know how hard it is to have your uh, podcast approved for Apple or Spotify without a company like Anchor? They'll do that for you. This podcast can be heard on Apple, Spotify, Google, and so many more, all thanks to Anchor. Now, you also can make money off of your podcast. You'll get different sponsors for episodes, and you'll be able to monetize those so take advantage of that and again it's all in one place so make sure you go ahead and download the free anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today i learned this about life the first step of being unhappy is trying to please everybody else What's the point of gaining the world's approval if that gain means that you have to lose yourself in the process? It just doesn't add up. So why do we care so much about the opinions of others that could care less about us? Why do I care so much to be liked? Why? Just to impress people who could care less about my life or my journey? Just to impress people who are going to magnify all of my flaws and judge my imperfections as if mistakes are not a part of all of us? As if we haven't all failed at something? We've all struggled. It doesn't make you any better because you hide yours better than me. It doesn't make you any better because you act like you have it all together when you know deep down inside you're human just like me. We both know that if the walls could talk, they would paint a completely different picture from the one of the many you show the world. So crucify me, shame my name, and pick me apart. But I'm through being your commentary because only God can judge me. And that's not an excuse. That's truth. Now for all of those of you who don't understand that hating on others only means that you're not working on you, it's time to listen. Work on who you are. Because that's the person that you're responsible for. Exposing somebody else's battles will not do a thing to help you win your war. Giving pain to others won't heal the pain that you hide deep inside. And it's crazy that it's the imperfect people that we pretend that we're perfect for. Who we hide our true purpose for. Because we're so afraid to be labeled as fake. Take it from me. Just because you made some past mistakes does not mean that your future cannot and will not be great. Ignore hate. God forgives, and that's a fact. To the people criticizing someone else's path, I guess that they forgot where God met them at. I guess that they forgot that they have a past too. But I hope that they don't forget this. God is my final judge, not you. I'm not here to live for you. I'm not here to please you. So if you get high off of making other people feel low, then feel free. Pick me apart. Because at the end of the day, 
your opinions and your hate, your criticism, it can't and will not stop my purpose because God knows my heart and no hate will ever stop it. We all know that we can become the best version of ourselves, the version that we all dreamed of as children, but we're too afraid to be judged, too focused on being liked, too scared to leave what's comfortable right now based off of the fear of what might be around that corner, what might be better, what might get you closer to the most authentic version of you that lives deep inside, but you'll never show. Because that's the thing about life. We don't know what's around the corner until we actually make the move. Things could be worse around that corner. Things could backfire and leave us in a position that would make us wish to go back to being in that shell of who we were meant to be because that was our comfort zone for so long that over time it actually became who we were. That was your true authentic self at that time. But things could also be completely opposite. That same corner could be the turn that you need to walk down the path that brings you directly to the door that opens your soul to peace and true happiness, to live out your dreams and to live out your full potential, to finally obtain the strength you obtained long ago because you fell victim of comfortability and forsaken the authentic you years ago just because someone or something didn't believe in you and your dreams. There are only two ways to go down the path that you're on now or to regain the courage that you know you have to turn that corner no matter what may be waiting for you on the other side you've gained and you've lost something either direction that you take and it's not up to others to decide which direction you travel those who know you and the real you wouldn't even make you question which route you should travel They too would want you to become the best because they also want the best for themselves regardless of the outcome. But nowadays we're so preoccupied and obsessed with the photoshopped, cropped, and edited version of our lives that we don't see those who share the same dreams that we do. Who see through the smoke and mirrors we hide behind because they too hide behind the same cloud just to impress the imperfect those who share the same need to feed into the manipulated reflection of those who we truly are and who present to everyone else, ignoring the fact everyone else is just as imperfect as we are. They're on the same journey as you. They want the best for not just you, but for themselves too. When you find someone walking down that path, don't let go. The strength and power needed to become who we are truly meant to be is only able to be multiplied when you are able to share the most vulnerable, unedited, and raw version of your story for the world to see, standing together, both perfectly and perfect, both frantically searching for the corner of fate and destiny, and trying to decide which road to travel. Remember, God knows your heart. It's time for you to learn it too. Hey guys, don't forget that we have an upcoming series coming up where we will be reviewing the entire Brandy album, Human. Make sure you tune in. What I feel being a human being is, is just having the freedom to be yourself, not caring what other people think, just having that freedom to be you and not being afraid. Because if you're not yourself, then who are you? <laughs>